Hey guys, in this video, going to be going over a strong moveset build that you can teach your Steelix in the second generation Pokemon games and where you can access these moves to teach them to your Steelix. Because unfortunately, to get your ideal build, Steelix isn't going to learn any of these moves through leveling up. They're going to have to be obtained through other means. But Steelix, Steel, Ground type, actually leave it immune and resisting a lot of opposition. It's just the downside to Steelix is that if it's going against something that it isn't good against, such as a fire or a water type, then it could find itself in a very difficult situation, but it's immune to electric and poison, strongly resisting rock, as well as resisting bug, dark, dragon, flying, ghost, normal, psychic, and steel. It's going to be weak to fighting, fire, ground, and water. The silver lining to being weak to fighting in ground is the fact that Steelix has an extremely high defensive number, but if you're hit by fire or water-based attacks, given the fact that Steelix has a very low special defense, those are going to be the situations where your Steelix finds itself in a very tough matchup. Now, Steelix, in terms of its numbers, its defense is just off the charts there at 200. Attack, respectable, kind of a mediocre number there at 85. HP at 75. The rest of the numbers are fairly low, with special defense at 65, special attack at 55. Not a big deal there because all the moves that we're going to be using are going to go off of the physical attack stat and then the speed is down there at just 30. In terms of the build, the first move that we have is Earthquake and this is going to be a same type attack bonus on that ground attack. 100 power, 100 accuracy. And I really wish that this was something that Steelix learned through leveling up, but that's just not the case unfortunately. You're going to have to teach this through a TM and it's going to be TM26. Looking at our list of TMs, this is going to be found over on Victory Road. And on Victory Road, the TM for Earthquake is going to be on the second floor in the northwestern area. And that's going to be up here. That's where you can find that particular TM. Move number two is Curse. And if you can use this, it's going to be able to bulk up your attack and defensive stats while sacrificing your speed. Now, since your speed is already so low, not the end of the world to reduce your speed number, but you can actually get your Steelix to a situation where it's extremely difficult to deal with as a physical tank, as well as being able to deal out quite a bit of physical damage as you boost up those numbers. And Steelix can learn this through TM03. And in our list of TMs, this is going to be found over in the Celadon Mansion. And in the Celadon Mansion, TM03 Curse is found on the roof from the man inside after listening to his story. And you can find this one at night in the second generation games. The next move is Roar, and you're going to want to have this one in your build, given the fact that Steelix is very weak against specific matchups. And if you find yourself in those matchups, it's nice having the option to use Roar to force a switch out on your opposition's side. So it's going to force the target to switch to a random ally, 100 accuracy, and it has a priority of negative one. But that's not a big deal given the fact that Steelix already has extremely low speed anyway, so you're expecting to act second most of the time. Roar is also going to be a TM, and it's going to be TM05. And TM05 Roar can be found on Route 32. And Route 32 is going to be found in this location in the Gen 2 map. And to show you where this is going to be located on Route 32, there's this cuttable tree right here. You get past that, and then you're going to be able to pick up that TM from this man sitting here up on the ledge. And then move number four, you're going to slot in another offensive attack. And we have some different options here, depending on what you want to go with in your build. There's Explosion and Body Slam, which come over from the first generation games. You'd have to get the TM for those moves in the Gen 1 games, teach it to an Onyx, then trade that Onyx over to the Gen 2 games before evolving it into Steelix. Whereas Rock Slide would be learned through breeding if you wanted to go with that move. But I'll start with Explosion. The target's defense is halved during damage, and it's one of those last-ditch effort type moves where you're going to faint, but as as a result of that dealing out a ton of damage 250 power 100 accuracy and in the gen 1 games you can find this tm on victory road and in the gen 1 games on victory road it's on the third floor in the northwest area of that particular floor and then body slam 30 percent chance to paralyze the target 85 power 100 accuracy and this tm would be tm 08 found in the gen 1 games over on the ssn and again guys just to reiterate you'd have to have an onyx in the gen 1 games use one of these tms on it and then trade it over to the gen 2 games that's how you get access to those ideal moves but you also have the option of rock slide 30 percent chance to make the target flinch 75 power 90 percent accurate and with steelix we can see that this is going to be learned as an egg move and going over to the breeding chart for Steelix, the only option here is to have a father, Suda Wudo, who knows the move Rock Slide, and you can pass it down through breeding in that manner. So you have some different options here of some different offensive attacks. You can keep it in the Gen 2 games with Rock Slide if you breed, or you can teach those TMs in the Gen 1 games and trade the Onyx over to the Gen 2 before evolving it into Steelix. Now the item we have leftovers at the end of every turn, the holder restores 1 16th of its max HP. 
and you can get leftovers in the Gen 2 games from Wild Snorlax, from a trash bin in the Celadon City restaurant, and through repeatable methods by trading over Wild Clefable or Wild Snorlax from the first generation games over to the second generation games. And that's going to round out this build, so I hope it was helpful. I appreciate you guys stopping by. Consider subscribing to the YouTube channel, and I'll catch you back here next time.